CFD flow modeling as a tool for waste heat recovery unit performance optimization. A short video by Dr. Kevin Linfield. This video is brought to you by Airflow Sciences Corporation for all your flow modeling and testing needs since 1975. A waste heat recovery unit, often referred to as a WHRU, is a type of heat exchanger which recovers waste heat from hot flue gases and integrates heat into the balance of plant operation. Often situated at refineries or other industrial facilities, the WHRU can generate steam as well as heating thermal fluids. Flue gas from a turbine is used to heat a thermal fluid, such as oil, in the tube bundle and, in turn, this thermal fluid will provide heat to various other units and equipment at the plant. Once the turbine gas heats the fluid in the tube banks, it exits the stack at a much lower temperature, hence the waste heat recovery name. In this case study, the turbine exhaust velocity profile was highly stratified, as seen in this figure. Initial CFD model results confirmed that the velocity patterns inside the unit were highly skewed through the silencer and significantly stratified as the hot turbine gases approached the tube bank. This figure provides CFD results for the vertical velocity component at the plane immediately upstream of the tube bank. In this plan view, side-to-side -side stratification is evident, with higher velocities on the right side of the unit due to the gas turbine profile. The flow uniformity, expressed as velocity RMS, or coefficient of variation, has a value of 28%. Uniform flow is typically considered under 15% RMS. The CFD modeling design effort included an iterative approach to develop an arrangement of flow control devices, including a perforated plate, ladder vanes, a series of kicker plates, as well as minor modifications to the layout of the silencer baffles. These design changes resulted in a flow field that achieved both uniform and aligned flow entering the tube bank region. The resultant CFD flow profile upstream of the tube bank eliminated the higher velocities and reduced the RMS from 28% down to 11%, achieving project goals. This uniform profile will result in improved heat transfer performance and reduced thermal stresses in the WHRU. For more information on CFD modeling of waste heat recovery units, please visit www.airflowsciences.com. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.